If you ran around the outside of a field and wondered how far you ran, you'd be asking for the perimeter of the field. If the field was a soccer field, it might look like this, a rectangle. How would you determine the perimeter of this rectangle, that is, how far you ran around the outside? In this case, the field is 100 meters long and 50 meters wide. So you could simply say, I ran 50 meters, and then 100 meters, and then another 50 meters, and then the last 100 meters bringing me back to the start. And I add them all together and I have a distance that I ran that is 300 meters. That's the perimeter of the field. If you are being kind of smart and tricky, you could figure it out by saying, well, all in all, I ran two 50 meter sides and two 100 meter sides or 2 times 50 meters plus 2 times 100 meters, which will also give us a perimeter of 300 meters. Note that in our answer, we always have to include the units, meters in this case. Otherwise, we haven't really answered the question. 300? Well, 300 centimeters is totally different than 300 meters. So always remember to show your units in your answer. To determine the perimeter of a rectangle, you just add up all the sides. Or, if you want to be tricky, you can say 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. What if your running track was a square? That is, you were running around a city block that was square and 100 meters on each side. If you were to determine the running distance, or the perimeter, you could say, I ran 100 meters, then another 100 meters, and then another 100 meters, and one more 100 meters before I get back to my starting point. Adding these all up, we'd have 400 meters. So the perimeter of this square is 400 meters, the sides all added up. And again, you could have been trickier. You could have said, hey, I just ran 100 meters four times to get back to my starting point. So we could have figured out the perimeter by saying four times 100 meters, which also gives us a total distance of 400 meters. Again, we have to remember to show our units, meters. So to determine the perimeter of a square, you just add up all the sides again. Or, if you want to be tricky, you can say the perimeter equals 4 times the length of the sides. What if you were right downtown and your running path was a triangle with sides 50 meters, 80 meters, and 100 meters? If you ran this path, you could say I ran 50 meters, then 80 meters, and then 100 meters to bring me back to my starting point. Adding these up to get the perimeter, I'd have 50 plus 80 plus 100 equals 230 meters. So the perimeter of this triangle is 230 meters. All the sides added up. Units shown in our answer. Now in this case, there wasn't really a good way to be trickier. That is, there weren't two or more sides that were the same. Given that, a triangle could be isosceles and have two equal sides, or could be an equilateral triangle with three equal sides. And in these cases, you could have found a neat little way to be tricky in your calculations. In this tutorial, we talked about perimeter. Bottom line? Adding all the sides of a polygon will always work for giving you the perimeter. Occasionally, you'll see sides that are the same size, and you can see tricky ways to make your calculations easier. But this isn't necessary to get the right answer. Either way will work. However you calculate the perimeter, always make sure you show your work, and always remember to include your units in your answer.